Okay, so we are at the uh, KOA in Fountain, Colorado. It's right next to Colorado Springs. As a matter of fact, that's the I-25 right there behind us, which is, I thought I would do a, uh, a video review of this campground. Um, it's really nice. We really like the, we are in a premium site that has the um, cement patio there and it has, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I, we had some propane delivered. Um, anyway, it's really nice. We have a premium site here. It has a cement pad and um, has some gravel, which is kind of nice because it keeps the fifth wheel a lot cleaner. Um, it was only like $2 more a night to get the sites with the patios um, than over here. Let's see. I can get those over there. Um, those sites have grass, which are still nice. They're the pull throughs. Um, they have grass there. It doesn't have, you know, real big trees. It's not that old of a park, I don't think. I would say probably one of the downsides of this park is that, like I said, it's right next to uh, I 25. I don't know how much you can see it, but you can probably hear it right now. Um, but it's kind of a ways out here. It's not, you know, right in the heart of Colorado Springs like. Um, you know, Garden of the Gods. Uh, Garden of the Gods campground is not too far from Garden of the Gods. And um, it's not quite as nice though, we don't think. that The cable comes in really good here. Um, and then there's also some other aspects that we really like that I'll show you in just a minute. Also another thing that's really nice about these sites is that it has the um, patio, the really nice patio table, seats four. And then it actually has a, a little fireplace where you can have real fires. And I think those other sites do have some rings. I just don't think they're quite quite as nice. And they do have picnic tables, but they're the standard wood picnic tables that you usually see at a campground. <clears throat> We're going to take the dogs for a walk, and I'm going to show you some other things that we really, really like about this campground. If you can get over the noise from the I-25, um, and if you're sitting in a tent or a cabin, they're more in the back of the campground, and you don't hear those as well. We'll be going over there and I'll show you what those are like. It's really nice because actually back there in the back of the campground is um, a creek, and so when you're back there on those back sites, um, and then there's a camper's kitchen over there, all you hear is the creek, so that's kind of nice but we'll show you the front too. So right up here is the entrance and then you can see there's the camp or the uh, playground area. It's a cute little playground and there's plenty of places for parents to sit and watch their kids and can even have a picnic or something over here, which is kind of nice. I believe back there, we haven't even checked that out yet. Uh, I'll That's go back over there and show you. That's the laundry area, looks like. And what else? Oh, and the clean out your uh, gray water, or your tank clean. Oh, it looks like there's a, also some Fine. restrooms there. And then there's that Wagon Wheel Cafe. We haven't ate there yet. Like I said, we just got here today. And I think right now, they're only open on Fridays from four to seven and then Saturday and Sunday for breakfast and for dinner, I think, on the weekends. But this is what's really going to be neat. Um, it's not open yet. I really wish it was, but this is a little water park they have. And they just got their slides delivered, looks like. They said just a few days ago, and they haven't installed them yet. Um, but this is going to be really neat. It has like it's gonna have all kinds of fountains and slides and we'll have to come back definitely when they get it open it's probably not going to be open for another few weeks and uh oh as you can see bella found her first pine cone and she'll probably try to bring it back home with her <laughs> but anyway if you go back this way and i'm sure they're not finished yet i don't know if this i don't know how it's going to be arranged completely when they're done but go through this little path here and 
right here. Looks like you go through the spa area, I guess. Maybe until that's opened. I'm not sure. Let's, is it locked? Maybe there's another way in, I think. Anyway, that's the hot tub there. And that's the pool over there. And then over there is the going to be the water park. Looks like they're kind of doing it in a um, like a western theme. It's pretty nice. Okay. So anyway, I guess we have to go ask them to unlock. I don't know. I don't know why it's not unlocked. It says it's open from 10 a.m. to, to 9 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's the, I guess you can rent little go-karts right next to the playground area. And that's the cafe here. This is where they have, oh, it looks like they have, um, I'm sure this stuff is probably open and um, more alive when it's summer. It's only May, well, it's Memorial Day right now. And it hasn't quite quite gotten off the feet yet, I guess. Um, anyway. Oh, looks like they're gonna be offering hay rides. I'm sure that's not going yet, but that's pretty neat. And we haven't been in this summer fun zone. I don't know what that's all about over here. I haven't even in the been in the bathrooms yet. So we'll go over here. the little sitting area um, right by the playground not too far from the playground looks like it has a little fountain here and some seats a little gazebo I'm gonna take you over here so you can see some of these tent sites that they have over here are really nice they have um, they have covers on them so in case it rains or it gets windy, kind of protected there. These are the little cabins they have. sheltered tent sites that they have that are kind of nice if you have to stay in a tent it has a cover and then it has fences on each side and then out behind you is a lot of grassy area you can still hear the uh, traffic pretty bad over here I think if I were gonna stay in one I'd want to stay in this cabin right here on the end right next to the campers kitchen and it's also right next to the fountain. Oh, Sadie sees the bunny. Okay. So this is the Tender's kitchen. I remember when we used to stay in um, 
KOAs back when our kids were young. We used to stay in tents and I loved staying at KOAs because of the camper's kitchen. She can cook and grill and do your dishes and even eat here, which is really nice. But I wanted to show you the back of this cabin is really nice. I don't know if all of them have a deck out back. Yeah, it looks like they all have a little deck out back, which is really neat. And then that one's really a nice spot. I like that. It has the deck right there with the table. Then you have some here. And it's right there. Yeah, here. It's nice because when you're right here, all you can hear is the creek. <laughs> and then a little pathway here. And we're going to go down there, but I'm not going to videotape that in case I fall. <laughs> so if I was staying here in a tent, I would definitely want over here because it's nice. You can hear the waterfall of Fountain Creek right there. That's nice. Kind of makes you feel like you're in the wilderness. That's a pretty view. Because you're furthest away from the fish wheel. I mean, you're furthest yeah. away from the I-25, and you're right next to the waterfall. If you open your windows, you can hear the waterfall. Yeah, so that's pretty much what you hear. Yeah, that'd be nice. If we ever come here, we're gonna try to request over here. What sites are these? Well, the, it, if they're 50 amp, which they look like they are. So, yeah. And these are patio style with the 15 amp. We need to find out what what sites these are. Yeah, pull on the other side. Let's tell you. Okay. So these sites right here, like this is site 101, 102, 103, 104. Those look like some of the nicest sites because, uh, like I said, you're the furthest away from the I-25 and closest to the fount the creek, so you can hear that instead, which is nice. Anyway, this is and this is the little dam or waterfall or whatever you want to call it. It's really nice though. So anyway, um, what I would say is it's a nicer park than Garden of the Gods, I would say. Um, but the noise is the biggest downfall for me and the fact that it is further away. Um, it's probably, oh, what would you say, 15 minutes? It's only 10 minutes to town. 10 minutes to town? If that. Yeah, okay, so 10 minutes. I mean, probably take 15 minutes to get to where the Garden of the Gods campground is. Um, it's nicer but noisier and it's a little bit further out of the way and it has, definitely has nicer sights in it with the patios and um, and also it has cable television which is nice because the Garden of the Gods says they have te garden tele uh, cable but they don't come in very well and you hardly get any of them um, they don't have a hot tub this one does have a hot tub which we really like and this one next year is going to have the uh, the water park so that's really nice if you have kids especially um and i'm trying to think what else 